Hi, so I started my day with a bit of a bad news Well, it's not just a bit, it's a horribly bad news Yesterday in my home city, Yangon, in my home country, Myanmar The terrorist group cracked down suburban area in Yangon They started a fire of this factory which belonged to Chinese um, investors and any locals that tries to stop the fire the terrorists just shoot them with the life round and yesterday there were about 73 people died in that suburban area of Yangon which is like the biggest death toll since the 1st of February and I think so far there has been almost 200 people died because of that it's horrible I started my day quite early I already had my very first meeting of the week and now I'm prepping myself to get ready for the next one putting on makeup for quite some days for dinner I have been planning to make salmon for quite some days and today I finally decided to um, get the ingredients and start making it so I am actually using this recipe called um, Kuruku Lime Tilohi so this is actually the recipe that I found on Kmarket um, app called Keirauta so in this app you can like check different recipes that Kmarket uh, posted on their website or in the app and I have like saved quite a lot of recipe here you can see today I decided to try Kuruku Lime Lohi because it only needs like a few ingredients so my salmons are pretty much salted and put in the oven so they are currently being baked and I am now I'm preparing the um, garnish on top, which I will be just needing the kurko, which is the cucumber, and dill, and of course lime as well. So that is what I am making now. I need to be extra careful because <laughs> somehow I'm like talking and also chopping at the same time. I don't accidentally want to cut myself. That will be scary so the recipe calls for finely chopped cucumber um, I can't really chop it to a small or in a proper cube shade so I will just chop it as thinly as I can and then I will also get ready with my uh, dill and garlic then I will put a little bit of lime juice on top so that that would be the ready-made garlic to put on top of the salmon.
I am walking towards the Forum shopping mall which is quite close to the Kampi. Well, I have spent my whole day studying and also working. When I look outside the window, I was quite shocked to see that it's still bright. So I guess the days here in Finland are getting longer. And well, I decided to go to Forum because I saw an Instagram post from a friend yesterday that there is a new miscellaneous shop open up in Forum. So I haven't been there at all and I really wanted to check it out. So I decided why don't I go for a walk and also check out the new store. So here I am and I'm thinking of taking you along to the shop. It's so sunny, so pretty. I'm coming over around the corner. Another night where I get so confused because we're just friends. The friends who undress, the friends with loose hands that kiss your neck. And I don't mind if you waste my time Cause I've got some I can't lose Act like I don't need your love And you call my bluff And that's all that I can ask of you And I thought I'm gonna show you what I've got uh, because it is such a small shop but it has so much stuff in it. It has um, all the cosmetics, kitchen appliances, skincare products, hair products and um, also like a lot of masks for sure and cleaning products and also food. So like I was spending there for about 30 minutes there in that small shop which is like um, a lot of time spent there but I also managed to get a few items uh, which I really want to show you sometimes I watch those vlogs video and then the vlogger just take you to different shops and they never show you what they bought and every time it happens I'm like oh no <laughs> so I decided I'm going to show you what I've got um, I dropped it Yes, so this is what I've got. It is Argan oil and it's supposed to be vegan and it says it has a nice smell. So I guess I need to try using it. Actually, I'm currently using Gliss, which is like a standard, standard hair oil and then I'm also using the Olaplex and you will see that both of them are running out so i got myself this argan oil so yeah i could try it out and see how it feels for my hair and then i've got this leisurely shampoo silicone brush so i have been wanting to get a silicone brush for my hair because every time i wash my hair i realize it's too thick and it's really hard to like really you know scratch it with my fingers and i read it somewhere that this is recommended to use because it massages your scalp so it really helps you with the hair growth so i bought it uh, i think this is the priciest item out of everything else i bought i think this was like eight euro of course it is still much cheaper than buying from some high-end cosmetic stores and then from the hair moving on to the face i've got myself this hydro gel facial mask this is like um facial mask like a sheet mask but the difference is that this is made with hydro gel so these are like really um hydro gel like a gel like material and i have tried a different brand a korean brand and it really like made my face so much brighter so i've been looking for it everywhere and i haven't seen it at all and this is the first time i'm seeing a hydrogel mask so um, i bought 
two of them all together and can't wait to try it. And then I've got eyelash and brow dye. You will see that I'm currently just putting on some mascara and then um, eyebrows, which is like, like an eyebrow powder. I think my eyelashes are very like um, short and doesn't have much color so it would be nice to have some black intensity so I have to try this and really glad that I found it there I'm not really like actively looking for them but I never really come across seeing this type of dye so the moment I saw it I'm like I have to get it I don't know if it is called impulse shopping but hey let's not go there and moving on to the food section I've got myself Pringles this was only like 90 cents which is much cheaper than what you can get from prisma or from k market or anywhere else and then i've got two of these easter chocolates and the name is quite funny it says basque hare is it supposed to be like basca rabbit but i'm thinking that this is like a danish Warning. Last snack item I've got is Nutella. Be ready. It has like double Nutella uh, sticks inside, which is really cool. Like the more the merrier. And those were also under one euro. And the last item that I've got is a little bit out of context, but I bought this drying mat. Our kitchen counter has not much space. And sometimes I like to dry my pans or pots that I wash with my hands um, on top of the stove or on top of the um, kitchen counter. So I, when I found this, I'm like, yes, I need to get it. As of now, we are using the drying mat that I bought from Daiso from Singapore when I was visiting there last year. And it is like a black color, um, which actually suits the like the furniture color that we have at home but on the other hand um, I also want like a little bit more pieces because we don't have much counter space um, so drying mats are really like crucial for me and I was looking for it and I saw it in um, Klaus Olsen but it was like a bit more expensive about 10 euro for one sheet and I was somehow comparing with the prices back in Singapore like like I said I bought the current one that I've got from Daiso from Singapore where I only had to pay two sing dollars which is like um, one euro fifty cents so I really didn't want to pay 10 euro to get it from class Olsen anyway I've got this at three euro around three euro I think so yeah that's pretty much what I've got from today and I think I am now ready to prepare food for dinner because I think the last time I ate it was like sometime in the afternoon like 1 30 because now it's already 7 30 and I'm really famished so I've got some tofu eggs and carrots and I'm going to be making miso soup as well and these are the spring onions and mushrooms so yeah i guess i can quickly chop it up
I just finished cooking my dinner. I ended up making a full-blown meal out of it. I cook omelette with mushroom and then I also fried the carrots and mushrooms and I also prepare the miso soup with tofu. I'm just gonna eat my dinner and I was thinking I'm gonna end my vlog right here because the rest of the evening I'm just gonna be studying and studying and more studying which is I think kind of boring. So if you enjoy watching this video please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment below because I think it really helps my content visible to other people. So thank you and see you guys in my next one. Bye!